inside the Nazi concentration camp of Brindonk. This is where the men were kept, and you can't get a sense of it, but it is so moist and damp in here, and they were really given just starvation rations. They could have two cups of coffee in the morning and a piece of bread uh, and a little bit of soup in the afternoon, which was just hot water, and then two more cups of coffee and a piece of bread for dinner. Uh, and they were expected to work hard labor eight hours a day. This is Amy Talbot at EuroLuxAntiques.com. We've invited you to come along on the buying trip, and we've mostly finished the buying trip and now have done a little sightseeing. Greg and I are history buffs, and we especially enjoy seeing World War II sites. So we've come to this prisoner of war camp, um, a World War II camp, that was held by the Nazis in Bringdom. And I have to say that this is one of the most harrowing of the Nazi concentration camps that I have seen. Uh, here it tells you to stop or you'll be shot if you go past and really I think that would have been the better fate than if you actually were to enter the prison down there. Um, now these were actually political prisoners. They weren't, uh, there were some Jews that were brought toward the end of the, the time from 1942 to 1945. Uh, but mostly it was political prisoners. They existed on hardly any food, just starvation rations, and had to work hard physical labor eight hours a day. And only 10% of the prisoners that were, were held here actually survived. Um, what is just so astounding about this facility is that it is virtually intact, whereas most of the German concentration camps were destroyed right after the war ended. Uh, this one is, is really intact, and so you really get the sense of how just creepy and uh, how many people were tortured and lost their lives here. It's really something, if you've never visited a concentration camp, uh, it's part of our, our world history, and it's something that you should do uh, sometime in your life.